Hey guys and dolls, welcome back to the makeup community. My name's Chris. If it is your first time here, thank you so much for checking us out. I'm in my new space. I'm still kind of working with the lighting and the background and everything, so bear with me please. I just have so much to do that I needed to just go ahead, get the videos done, and then kind of work on everything else. So today's kind of special to me. Um, Please excuse me if I slip into my accent because when I get emotional, I can't really focus on not having an accent. Um, but today we are doing stage looks for kids, for dance moms to do for the kids for the stage makeup. And I do this because my little baby cousin, who is our miracle, um, started dance. And so her mama, my, my first cousin, was like, um, what, what, what do I do, you know? Because they're just kind of thrown in there and said, hey, here you go, do stage makeup. And she was like, okay. So my aunt asked me to go ahead and do a video and, you know, it's some tips and tricks and everything's going to come with practice. And a lot of it's going to be dictated by what the group does. So I'm actually going to do two different eye looks. I'm going to look so weird at the end of it. But I'm going to do an easy smoky eye on the one eye. And it's only going to use three, maybe four colors. Real simple. It's not the standard, you know, smoky eye look that I would teach, you know, for a date or something like that. But we're talking about doing makeup on four-year-olds. And then the second one's going to be glittery and pink and, you know, just super cute. So, I got everything we need here, and I will talk y'all through it. Now, a little bit of a history. Um, when M was, I think, a month old, her heart stopped. And it was where they called my cousin in... Um, M's daddy and my, my other cousin, my cousin-in-law, where we don't use in-law, he's my cousin too. I just didn't want to sound, you know, inbred there. Um, they called them in to hold her as she passed. Um, and then her heart came back. And she had been down for so long that they told my cousin that um, M would have brain damage. And now she's spunky and, you know, going to dance classes. And she's just a sassy little thing. And she started picking out her own clothes. She's at that age where she wants to pick her own clothes. And that's been a little interesting. It's been amusing. But it, it's, I know I never share any of my personal stuff, um, any of my family stuff. But that was important to me to share why this you know, dance recital and, you know, stage makeup is so important to me is because our family miracle is doing dance now and we're all real happy and excited to watch her. And let me tell you, she is the most animated one on there. I can tell you that. So anyway, let's start with blush. Now I just picked up, it's just classic pink, CoverGirl Cheekers blush. They come in a zillion, zillion colors. They're little, but they, you know, I mean, you get a decent amount of blush in here. They're just a classic. They're less than $4 at Walmart. I actually have a couple of the shades. So this is just classic pink. And with your blush, you're going to remember you are going to do more for a stage makeup than what you would put on for an everyday makeup. All right, it is going to be brighter. It is going to be bolder because people are going to be out in the audience seeing it. So you want to pick it up with your brush. This is an e.l.f. brush. I think it was like three or four bucks. I like e.l.f. brushes. Now you're going to concentrate it on the apples of their cheeks. So if you have them smile, pinch your cheeks. It's that right here. Now if they don't have chipmunk cheeks like I do, go from their pupil down and that is if they look straight pupil down and that will give you a good cheat sheet as to where to put it. Now if I look off, I'm sorry, my mirror is over here. So we're going to concentrate that on the apple of the cheek and then we're going to bring it up toward the temple. 
like this. And it is going to be more than what you would normally do, like I said. So this is classic pink. So apple. Let's get that on there. And then bring it up towards the temple. Sweep it up. This is a good blush brush because it's not too big. We're working with little bitty cheeks. So let's do that one more time. Apple, bring it up. See how that's much heavier than what we would wear in public? That's because we are working on stage. So apple and bring it up towards the temple. You want most of it on the apples of the cheeks. It's a good thing I'm not going anywhere because I am going to have serious blush, seriously bright lipstick, and two different eyes. Two different eye styles, I should say. There we go. That looks about even. See, it just adds a nice pink brightness, rosiness that you're going to be able to see from, you know, some rose back. And I know a lot of you be videotaping. So I'm going to take whatever is just left on this brush and I'm going to sweep it across the forehead like this, just where the sun would kiss. So let's sweep around the hairline like that, down the nose, and a little bit on the chin just to add a little bit of color. Now we're going to highlight. This is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. This is in Blossom Glow. It is really pretty. These are really good highlighters. And I'm going to use a Morphe brush. It is kind of a dome shape. You're probably going to have to use a smaller brush than this, depending on the age of your child. So we are going to take the highest parts of the face and highlight those. So above the cheekbones. Let's swirl that in there. And we're going to find that high point of the cheekbones, and, or above the cheekbones. And let's do that. Let's sweep that up and then a little bit on the temple. Sweep up a little bit on the temple. See how that glows? Gives a little bit of glow. Well, a lot of glow, but we want to look good on everybody who's taping the kids. And we want to be seen halfway, you know, all the way back. I actually did stage makeup in school. And I remember some of it. <laughs> Here we go. Now let's take just a little bit of that and put it right on the end of the nose. See where that just kind of bumps a little bit? Right on the end of the nose there. And let's hit the Cupid's bow. Right there. Now, lip. I picked this up from Ulta. It is a sparkly, bright pink color. Your lip is going to be, well, all the makeup is pretty much going to be dictated by the shades that the group is going to wear. Just follow that. I just picked this one up for Halloween and I thought, oh my gosh, it's pink, it's sparkly, it's fun, I'm going to use it. So. There we go. Pink, glittery, fun. All right, so we've got our face, we've got our lips on. If you do foundation or anything, I mean, do that first before, do your foundation and your blush before you do, or your foundation and your powder before you do the blush. I just, not a lot of kids really need that, so I skip that part. Um, we are just going to comb through the eyebrows. If you want to color in the eyebrows, that's fine, but generally... For kids, you know, they, they're not all plucked or anything like that. So we're just going to brush through them. So the first eye we're going to do is a smoky eye. Like I said, this is not, you know, here's my big disclaimer. This is not the typical smoky eye that I personally do. But when you're working on a four-year-old, you know, chances are she's going to be like, okay, come on, let's get this done and not be, you know, really have the patience. I barely have the patience for blending six different, you know, colors. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have the Stunning Smokies from CoverGirl and it is a quad. It's gray. You can do a smoky eye with any colors at all. I was originally going to do this with the browns or purples, but I am going to do this with grays. 
So I am going to go in here. There are four colors, and I am going to go in with this lightest color here, kind of a glittery bone color, and we're going to put that everywhere on the lid. This has some glitter in it. It's super pretty. And make sure you get it up under the brow bone. Now this is just going to be whatever lightest color you have. A little lighter than the skin tone. Let's get up under that brow bone especially. There we go. And then we are going to go in with that lighter gray color. And I'm just going to take a small regular brush with that and we are going to put this all over the lid and bring it up over where the crease is. So let's put this right in here. Get the lid first. And once that is all covered, let's get above the lid. Ooh, I got a big chunk with that. We're going to have to blend that out. Let's blend that out. Here we go. So we have our gray, and see how I'm bringing it up. Want to bring it not quite to the brow bone, but almost. And so it's kind of faded up there. So we're applying it into the crease and blending it up with what we've got instead of applying more color upwards. So that way there's kind of a gradient where it's going to go darker into lighter. And then we're going to go in, just same brush, we're going to go in with this darker color. It's almost black and it's got some glitter in it. And we're going to go into that and we're going to put it on the outside here. For starters, let's put it right in the outside. Just gives a little bit of depth and definition. There we go. And then we're going to blend it. You don't want that, you know, too bad. And we are going to take the tip of the brush. Let's dip it in the medium brown of the medium gray that we did all over the lid, and we're going to bring that underneath the eye, just like that. See where I'm going with this? Now we're going to line the eye. If you want, you can just use a you know small angle brush. Have her close her eyes, bring the darker shade across. Um, I'm just going to use some eyeliner. So this is just a MAC Cole eyeliner in black. There we go. Let me get the tip off that. And I am going to hold the eye tight like this and skim it along the top. There we go. So you have a nice black line across the top. There. And then I am going to put it in the bottom waterline. Um, I don't know if many kids would really put up with that, but I'm going to do it anyway. You don't have to. You, you know, just having the shadow down there is a nice smoky effect. I'm just doing this just because. I don't know. Have it. Here we go. So that is a nice, easy, smoky eye. Do it with any color. You get a gradient of colors. Get one that's lighter, you know, a little lighter than the skin tone for all over. Then you're going to go all over the lid and a little bit above with the medium tone. And then you're going to add definition right in the outside here with the darkest color. Now we are going to put on some mascara which I forgot. Nope, got it right here. Ah. So this is the Joa Cosmetics Eye Scream Mascara. And if you want to put falsies on them, um, I can teach you guys how to do falsies. It's just not pretty on camera because I have to get right up next to the mirror and with my tremors, it's just not, I don't know, it's not pretty. Get that mascara on there. All 
right, so we have everything on. It's time to clean it up and make it perfect. If you notice here, I have a little bit of, you might not be able to see it, I have a little bit of fallout from the eyeshadow, so I'm just going to take my blush brush, and we're just going to brush that away. There we go. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush, just a clean fluffy brush, and I am going to run it over really, really lightly. Run it over the eye here, and what that's going to do is kind of blend everything together. You don't want to put much pressure on it. It just kind of blends the edges there and makes it look really pretty. And there we go. There is a stage smoky eye. The second one I'm going to have fun with, um, I actually saw this when I was looking things up, uh, see what's changed since I did stage makeup, obviously. And so I am going to go in, this is a Makeup Revolution palette, and it's so pretty, it's from their jewel collection, and it's called Opulent, and it is sparkly pinks and cool tones and, you know, purples. And so I'm going to also make this really easy. This, I haven't reviewed or anything. This is just my personal collection. So I'm going to go in with, there's a matte pink color and it is called Squad and it is super light pink and super pretty. And I am going to put that all over the eyelid, especially under the brow bone. So really we're looking for the color to be under the brow bone, but I'm putting it all over the eyelid so that way everything blends easier here. Like I said, I'm going to have two different kinds of eyes. Yeah, that's going to look interesting. Now I'm going to take a sparkly shade, not with that gray brush. Woo-wee! I'm going to take a regular brush and I'm going to grab a pretty sparkly shade. It's called Participate and it's right here and that is also a pink and I am going to put that on the lid. Let's tap that on the lid. You can actually, you can use your fingers, you can use little sponges, it doesn't matter. This is so easy. So let's get that sparkle on there. I thought this was such a cute look when I saw it. That's just on the lid. And then we are going to take a little blending brush. Of course, you're going to be working with little eyes, a little blending brush. And I am going to go into a little darker color. This is called Paris. And it's a little darker pink up in here. And I'm going to pick that up. And I am just going to put that right into the crease and let it run a little below, above and a little below. So that way it kind of blends out the lid into the upper part where we put that pastel pink and kind of blends everything together. Adds a little dimension. And then here's the fun part. Now, um, you can get glitter anywhere. This is Wet n Wild at 99 cents. You just put your finger in there, pop it on. Um, but with my trimmers, I do better with an applicator, so I'm using a Stila uh, Cream Glitter. These are one of the glitter and glows. And just put a little bit of glitter on there. Just glitter that up. I'm bringing it all the way to the top, but there we go. Got a little bit of glitter on there, a little bit of pink, a little bit of fun. Now, while that's drying, I am going to put my mascara on. Same mascara, same idea. This was one of the most fun, cute uh, things that I saw when I looked this up. And of course, we're simplifying because, you know, you're not going to have an hour to spend, probably. Um, it's not like they can play with an iPad or whatever because you're going to be all up in their faces. So let's get that mascara on. And then my glitter should be dry by now. I am going to put on a liquid liner on the top just a liquid black. Let's put that on. And 
and that more or less just makes the eyes just look complete. I'm going to put another coat of mascara on here. And there we go. So I know I look crazy. I've got one gray smoky eye and one sparkly princess pink eye, but yeah, well, I shouldn't say pink eye, but you, you know what I mean. <gasps> So there you have it, folks. If you make a mistake, don't sweat it. You do not have to redo everything. Grab a little bit of eye makeup remover. Grab a Q-tip. Dip one end of the Q-tip into it. Here, let's do this. So we're going to dip one dip, just one quick dip. There we go, to moisten the end. And clean up if you get mascara or something. Let's clean that up right there. And then we're going to take the dry end, kind of dry that off. And then wherever you cleaned it up, go back in with whatever shade you had. So we had the gray, the dark gray. So let's put that back in. And there you go. Not a big deal. No worries. So that is it for this video. And I hope that that helped. I hope that was good. Um, we are building the makeup community every day, trying to build it into a wonderful, fun place where everybody can just talk about makeup, share tips and tricks, learn new things, teach new things. Just a really fun, positive place to do makeup. So please spread the word. Don't forget to put in for the giveaway. I am actually going to draw names on Thanksgiving night, and I will post video on Black Friday with the winners. So go to the video that has giveaway on it. It's less than four minute video. Watch that, follow the directions, and hopefully you will win some awesome stuff because we are celebrating hitting 50 subscribers. So I will see you guys in the next video. I will talk to you down in the comments and have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye.